so hello and thanks for coming back. Um, we thought we would touch on a topic that we've discussed in uh, the last recording, which is that why it works to sleep with the head of your bed raised. So the physiology, um, your body's processes of sleeping with your head up. So Boone, can you tell us why this works? Sure, and I'd like to try and start off by saying that astronauts who are in an anti-gravity environment for about 60 days, when they come back to Earth, the volume of plasma or blood circulating around is reduced sometimes by as much as 10 to 15%. And a lot of these uh, astronauts who've been in a gravityless or weightlessness environment for a prolonged time can feel very dizzy and they have problems with maintaining standing up. So just YouTube astronaut faints at press conference uh, immediately after landing it's a very common phenomenon. So why am I talking about astronauts with respect to the question that you asked? Well, the physiology is very similar because what we think about is a core circulation, which is brain, heart, kidneys. These are the core aspects of our body. And when we talk about the peripheral circulation, this would be our hands, our feet, our skin. And what head up, tilt of the bed does every night is it actually uh, reduces the uh, pressure within our core circulation. And this can be very helpful because it's, it's one thing to have a highish blood pressure, which flushes, if you like, your kidney. If you have a high blood pressure and your kidneys are being perfused or being supplied with a lot of blood, the kidneys will then produce urine at a high rate. So if you can lower that blood pressure at nighttime, you are automatically going to take away the amount or minimize the amount of urine that's produced at night. And this can be incredibly helpful as your kidney starts to adjust. So when you go head up tilt, just like when you're standing upright, you, you may notice in the daytime that your pressure falls and the same thing will happen at night. So just to clarify this technique where we are getting our tilted bed with books, for example, under the legs of the bed or a blanket underneath the mattress uh, and to get you tilted upright to say 10% uh, will only be helpful and should only be done, for example, if your resting blood pressure you recognize to be quite high. And in a specific situation called labile hypertension, where your blood pressures can be high when you're lying down and low when you're standing up. So the physiology is really quite interesting because it will allow uh, you to lower the amount of blood pressure you suffer with at night, as well as lower the amount of urine you produce at night. And this can be helpful in, in minimizing the early morning symptoms of dizziness that you are particularly prone to. Um, Chris, let me ask you, you've seen uh, a few of such patients and you've seen that they uh, can benefit from such things, but there are practical challenges with this approach, right? In, in terms of elevating the head of the bed, or yes, yes, yeah. Um, I think sometimes it's it's just the getting somebody to help you think about how you can how you can elevate the bed. Some people increasingly have, if they're very lucky, they have those automated beds, and that's that's easy. That's not a problem. But again, you know, just to work around what it is, whether that's. Uh, um, if you if you cannot physically you know maneuver the, the end of the bed, then um, just just to use as I say use a blanket or a quilt or anything against underneath the mattress that will be that will be fine and some and some pillows. Um, go with what works for you, really. That's really interesting. Thank you very much.